It's been a long time since I had a chance to relax outside like this taking in the fresh air. Now, I'm glad I have someone like you to enjoy it with. I feel the same. There's nothing like experiencing a moment such as this, with a very special person, one dear to your heart. Marcia, you're an amazing woman. You're very special to me, Marcia, you know that. You're special to me too, Trevor, and I'm happy you're well and been well for years, thank God. You gave Dolly an air scare. Believe me, I was scared too. But now, as a Christian man, I see that it was God who kept me safe and didn't let me die. And it's all thanks to Jesus for bringing you into my life, and for Doll. If she hadn't wanted to visit me that night I would have been dead. But death wasn't in his plans for you, and surely it was Doll who saved your life for wanting to visit you in the first place. It was God working through her. I thank God for you both. You both played a role in saving my life. By the way, I like this new hair color on you. It suits you well. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi beautiful angel, are you home? I'm at Miss Marsha's house. Alright. We won't be back until later, just wanted to call and tell you. Okay, have fun. Thanks baby girl, love you. I love you too daddy. Today is mother's birthday but, I still cannot bring myself to visit her, not yet. I know it's been over 9 years but, she really hurt me with no remorse. This is supposed to be a happy moment but she made my life a living hell. The trauma, the thoughts, the memories. I can't bear it. Miss Marsha and Daddy go great together, they both love and care for each other and for me. Why couldn't Mama be like that? She's such a failure, and now look at her. If only she would have been good, like Miss Marsha. I'm ashamed to be her daughter. Guess I'll get ready for work now. Hi Miss Doll, here's the orders for tables 4 and 5. I'm on it. Oh, and there's a party tonight. Wanna come? I don't know Daisy. You should come. It's nothing big, just a few colleagues from work, cute guys, a little food and music. It will help you out with stress. I'll think about it okay. Alright, just let me know before your shift ends. There's your burger and fries. Well if there's anything else you need please let me know. Even if I needed your number. I'm afraid my number is not on the menu. Last time I checked, but I'll be over here if you need anything else. It's been ages yet you still don't remember me do you? Who are, you? Wow. Dolia, it's me, Ricky. <gasps> My goodness Ricky, how could I have not known? That's a question I asked myself. But look at you, don't you look beautiful, even in an apron. I miss being in his arms, his strong arms and he smells so good. So, what brings you by? I wanted a burger. But what about you? You stopped all contact all of a sudden, is everything okay? Can you talk? For you, I have all the time in the world. Okay. I'll see if I can have an early break. Here. One thousand dollars. Ricky, what's all this money for? Tell them you're taking the rest of the day off and hand them the cash. I'll even leave a tip for my food, and bag it to go. Oh, and this is for you, my excellent cook. Ricky, I can't accept this. Why? You earned it. You haven't changed. Oh yes, I have. Alright, well I'll be right back. He's a thousand, and I'm taking the rest of the day off. 
He also left a tip. I think I'm in love. She better scoop him up or I will. Here, some hand sanitizing wipes. Thanks. I'm gonna need these. Anytime. You've grown to be so lovely, if I'm being honest. How are things with you and your mum? You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry she hurt you so much, doll. It's a shame how cruel some parents can be to their own offspring. You don't deserve it. So, you do remember everything I told you before we stopped talking? Yes, I do. But just know, even though it's been a while since we have seen each other, I'm still here for you. Thanks. Of course. I don't like seeing you upset. And how's your dad? He's fine. If only my mother was like him. I'm sorry Ricky, I just can't control my emotions right now. I know you're trying to be here for me but I can't make you worry about me anymore. This is my fight, and I can't drag you into my drama, especially since you look happy and well put together. I don't want my messy issues to ruin what you have going on. Let's talk about something else. I can't believe she still doesn't know I love her and care about her. Should I tell her I love her, and I always have? He gently plays fingers on her chin and gently turns her face toward him. Dolia, I'm here for you, all of you. I don't care how much you vent, I'll listen. You are not a burden to me at all, you're still my best friend, and I'm here to listen to whatever you have to say whenever you're ready to open up, just don't shut me out, again. Okay. Seriously though, you can be so stubborn at times. But that's what I like about you. Really? Yes. Your stubbornness was a good thing, because it meant you were a fighter, never the one to just roll over and die. But as I said, I don't see you as a burden, more like a blessing and I want to be here for you like old times. I still care about you. Besides, I believe we got a lot of catching up to do. Did you know I worked there? Actually, I didn't know you worked there. I work at King's Fortune 500, and thought I'd stop in because I heard the food was good. But the food was delicious. Really? King's Fortune 500. That's where my daddy works. I better not tell him my dad is the CEO or he might try going after his life insurance money, like my mother and her boyfriend did. What am I thinking? Ricky was always honest and hardworking, he wouldn't dare think of doing such a thing. Still, I won't tell him my dad's the CEO of the company, it's better to be safe than sorry. How exciting. What's your position there? I'm being promoted to manager next week. Ricky, that's wonderful. I'm truly happy for you, my friend. I know you earned that spot. Thanks. That means a lot. I bet the missus must be pleased at the great news. Yes, she is. Great wife, great life. Oh, so you are married? Nope. There's no missus anywhere. Just wanted to see your face. Boy did I get you good. If there was, it's not my business. If you say so. But your face said it all, you were quite shocked. But yeah, no woman could ever tame a man like me, though many have tried. Is that so? It is, and it's a good thing, because now we get to catch up without the worry of a jealous girl breathing down my neck. As of now, you're the only woman I'm willing to make room for in my life. Dolia. My friend, I'm not letting you get away from me this time. Oh no? No. Never. You gotta try this. Mm.
My my my, how she takes my breath away. Hello there beautiful lady. Ricky, you're so silly. Silly, but honest. Besides, I think it's getting hot in here, don't you? Then stand by the fireplace to get warm. I think your company warms me up. I miss you. Oh, Ricky. Thanks for today. I'm enjoying our time together catching up. It's always a pleasure, doll. Being with you makes me feel safe. And, with that said, I'd like to see my mother today. Can you accompany me? You know I will. But, she's not at home? No. Well, not my home but a jailhouse nursing home and today is her birthday. Really? Why is she in there? I'll explain everything too soon. Mother. <laughs> so just because I'm paralyzed you think you can feel sorry for me? News flash girl, I feel sorry for you. Look at you. Weak, pathetic, ugly. It's apparent I've been absent in your life. Even in your disability you're cruel to me mother, though it's been over nine years. I only came to see how you were doing because, today is your birthday. Curse the day I was born and gave birth to a wretch like you. Get out of my sight worthless girl and don't ever come back. I don't need your pity. I, never mind, okay. Mrs. Humerson. Is that you? And who are you? Her pimp? No, I'm Ricky, remember me? Pretty Ricky is what they called you. If you were smart you'd stay away from her, she's the reason I'm like this, nothing but trouble. Please don't believe her, it's not true. Get out, get out, get out and never come back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I knew coming here was a mistake, but I thought maybe she changed. With you, I felt strong enough to see her, but she still hates me after all these years. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Come on, let's get you out of here. It's going to be okay. All right. She hurt me for the last time, but no more tears. I'll get you, mother. I'll get you, then you'll see what a wretch I can really be.